Welcome to the CAP Notification and Invoice Form tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be going through the CAP Repair Notification Form and Invoice Completion process. If you have any questions about the content of this tutorial, contact the CAP Help Desk. The Repair Notification and Invoice Form are designed to be used as an Excel spreadsheet and so are tutorials based on filling it out on Excel. If you do not have an Excel program on your computer, you can download a free program called OpenOffice at www.openoffice.org. This program will allow you to open and use the Excel file. First, you will need to create a file folder on your desktop. Right click on the desktop, choose New, then Folder, then let's name it CAP Folder. This will allow you to keep all CAP transactions in an easy to find location. Next, open your internet browser and log on to the Bureau of Automotive Repair website at www.bar.ca.gov. Under the drop-down menu titled, I am a licensee or applicant, click Find CAP Forms and Resources. This link has all the appendices, CAP training, and the CAP Operations Manual. Please be sure to print and familiarize yourself with this manual. Now click on the link titled, 2013 Repair Notification Form Template. The screen will ask you if you want to open or save. Go ahead and click Open and the screen will open to the Invoice tab of the workbook. Start by saving this folder to your desktop. Click on Desktop. Find the folder that we created on your desktop. Rename it. You may want to name it Template or Cap Template. And click Save. Now we will complete the template by filling out your station information in the top left section of this page, starting with your ARD number, followed by your station name, and the address, your city, state, and zip code, and your station's phone number and fax number. Remember, the fax line must be a dedicated fax number for your fax machine only. This information should match what is on the station questionnaire that you have on record with CAP. Now let's move over and enter your station's CAP agreement vendor number. This number can be found in the top right hand corner of your CAP standard agreement. If you are unsure of your number, please contact the CAP Help Desk. Now the labor rate and the tax rate that you have on file with CAP. You can update this information by completing a station questionnaire. Now hit Save. Your template is complete. Do not type on this workbook except you change the labor or tax rate. Now it's time to complete a repair notification form. After receiving authorization from the consumer to perform repairs and prior to performing those repairs, this form must be completed correctly and faxed to CAP. CAP will stamp it received and fax it back to you within two to three business days. Remember, do not wait for CAP to fax you back a received copy to begin work on the vehicle. Return to the CAP folder that we have placed on the desktop. Click on the template we had created within this folder. Like I mentioned before, we do not want to type on this workbook, so we will save a copy. Click File, and Save As, 
and name it. I suggest you name it for the month you are using it. Hit save. The workbook opens to the invoice tab. You will also see tabs repair 1 through repair 10 at the bottom of this invoice tab. Also a form instructions tab. Start on repair tab 1. This is your repair notification form. We start the repair notification by filling out the CAP ID number and the vehicle's license plate number and the customer's last name. This information must match what is on the letter of eligibility. See section 4.1 and 4.2 of your CAP operations manual for details. Next in section 2 we will enter the diagnostic charge for this repair. This amount must match exactly what is on the consumer's invoice. Then enter the price of the smog check if one is performed. This amount must not exceed what is on file with CAP for your station and must match exactly what is on the station invoice for this consumer. Do not include the cost of the smog inspection certificate. If a second test is charged then enter that also. Next in section 3 you will see the areas that are already completed. Verify these are correct and if not make changes on the invoice tab of the template. Next choose the labor guide you are using. If one is not listed simply type it in. Enters your station's repair order number for this consumer. and the license number for the technician performing the repairs. Next is section 4. This is where you will enter the repair information. Be sure to familiarize yourself with section 5.6 and 5.7 of the CAP operations manual. This area covers what CAP will and will not reimburse for. By clicking into the first box, you will see a drop down menu of repair choices. Pick the repair that you are doing and click on it. If the repair is not in the drop down menu, simply type in the repair on that line. Do not enter any other information such as diagnostic information. Then enter the labor units for replacing this part. The amount of time must match exactly what is on the labor time guide that you reference for this repair. Multiply the labor unit by your labor rate and enter the total. Enter your parts quantity and the parts price. You will see the sheet then calculates your tax and totals. On the next line you will enter the next repair. Again your labor units multiplied by your labor rate, parts quantity, and parts price. If you need to add a line for just a part only, type in that part in and enter that amount. Remember, do not enter a catalytic converter into repair notification 1 if you are submitting for upstream repairs. The only time a catalytic converter can be entered on repair notification 1 section is if it is the only repair being performed on the vehicle. 
Now we drop to the bottom in section five and fill out the signer's name, title, and date. The signer must be on record with CAP by completing a station questionnaire. Now print, sign, and fax this paper to CAP at 888-336-8334. CAP will stamp it received and fax it back to you within three business days. Contact CAP if you have not received it by then. After completing the initial repairs and verifying the effectiveness of those repairs, if the vehicle needs further work, you will enter that on the next notification. Again, using the drop-down menu, choose the repair performed. Your labor units, and on the catalytic converter, again, these cannot exceed what is found in your labor time guide. Again, the sheet will calculate to totals, and you will print, sign, and fax this second notification to CAP. The workbook has room for up to 10 vehicles to be entered. All vehicles entered on this workbook will be billed at the same time. You do not have to wait to get 10 vehicles to bill CAP. However, when you submit a bill from this workbook, you cannot use it again. You will need to return to your template and create a new workbook for future CAP vehicles. When it's time to bill CAP, you will need to complete an invoice. Click on the Invoice tab, and here you will see the repair information entered on Repair Notification Form 1 is on Line 1 of this form. Complete this invoice by entering a station billing invoice number. You may want to use the name that you gave this workbook as an invoice number. Each billing invoice must have its own individual unique number. Now print your name and date it. You are now ready to print and sign this form. Be sure to sign this form in blue ink. It will be returned to you if it is not. An invoice package must then be mailed to CAP at the address at the top of the invoice. The invoice package you are mailing to CAP must include the following. The CAP invoice, the final copy of the repair notification form that we stamped received and faxed back to you, a photocopy of the station's final invoice as provided to the consumer, and all diagnostic information. Please refer to section 6.4 of the CAP Operations Manual for details. Allow four to six weeks for payment. Some of the common mistakes made when filling out the repair notification forms are incorrect labor units. The labor units cannot exceed what is published in a nationally recognized labor time guide. Incorrect testing charges. This amount must not exceed what is on file with CAP for your station and must match exactly what is on your station invoice to the consumer. Do not include the cost of the smog inspection certificate. Math errors. Be sure to check your math calculations before submitting. And failure to sign the form. Be sure to print your name and sign it. And some of the common mistakes on the invoice form. Incorrect entries for tax and labor rates. Be sure they match what is on file with the CAP program. Failure to submit all required documentation. The invoice package must contain the required documents outlined in section 
incorrect CAP agreement and vendor number. This can be found on your CAP standard agreement. And failure to sign the form in blue ink. Forms will be returned to you for errors. This concludes our tutorial. If you have any questions, please contact the CAP Help Desk at 866-361-3933. Thank you.